state of emergency during the Dallas flooding. He refused to link the event to climate change and only referred to it as extreme weather. Even when asked directly if he could even say the words climate change, he responded only with silence. Many are upset with his inability to address the topic. However, it would be difficult for you to discuss the environment if a tree took out your legs. <laughs> Trees falling is no laughing matter. <laughs> Deforestation is one of the largest carbon dioxide emitters, accounting for nearly 15% of global emissions. Trees also absorb greenhouse gases, making them crucial for keeping the earth cool. Protesters in the UK are bracing themselves to trees in an effort to protect the local forestry from being torn down. The British are respectable for that, however, I just wish they had put that effort into bracing their teeth. <laughs> Page two. <laughs> Mass extinctions have been directly correlated with human activity. The current extinction rate is 100 to 1,000 times higher than the natural rate. It is in debate whether we are too far gone as a species to change, and ecologically, humanity has been noted as an unprecedented global super predator. One thing we can all agree is that we need a super Chris Hansen. <laughs> that one's cheesy. <laughs> We're currently living in the sixth mass extinction. Mass extinctions are classified as 75% of species going extinct within a short period of time, typically about two million years. However, within the past 500 years, humans are directly responsible for the extinction of nearly 1% of all the species that have ever gone extinct. It's a lot. <laughs> Believe it or not. With our current rate, we may reach a mass extinction within only 18,000 years. It is a terrifying possible future, but there's one thing we must all learn to do with what little time we may have left, and that is compound interest. <laughs> <laughs> the Yangtze River in China, the third largest river in the world, is drying up. It has reached its lowest point since the 1860s. The water level has dropped so much so that China has completely lost hydropower within the local provinces. With this heat wave and lack of electricity, now they are really running sweatshops. Oh. <laughs> Page three. <laughs> the North Pacific Ocean contains a trash island known as a Pacific Trash Vortex. This vortex has an exceptionally high concentration of single-use plastics that have been trapped by currents. The patch is estimated to increase in size tenfold each decade. 
and is currently twice the size of Texas. When asked to comment on the island, Governor Greg Abbott had this to say, it could have been worse. They could have to live next to Oklahoma. <laughs> the trash island is concerning as plastics can take hundreds or even thousands of years to degrade. Although this sounds scary, there is a bright side. Kim Kardashian will be immortalized like the pharaohs. <laughs> Speaking of Kim Kardashian, she's under fire for using over 230,000 gallons of water during a drought. That's nine years worth of water usage in just one month. However, this shouldn't come as a surprise as she started her career from being too wet. Oh. <laughs> Some of these jokes make me nervous, so I'm gonna have to. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> Scientists recently made a terrifying discovery. They found a plastic grocery bag that has reached the deepest part of the ocean. So there is a bottom. <laughs> This is an eye-opening metaphor for humans' impact on the Earth. Finding trash at the bottom of the ocean is a horrific discovery. However, it's less daunting when it's found next to the Titanic and its 2,000 dead passengers. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Many Americans are outraged at rising gas prices. Unfortunately, that may not be the only danger as burning one gallon of gasoline emits nearly 20 pounds of CO2. As dangerous as it sounds, I'd like to see you try to buy 20 pounds of anything for $3.65. <laughs> that sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> According to the EPA, the United States Environmental Protection, Protection Agency, motor vehicles produced about 22% of total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions making them the most significant contributor to the country's emissions overall. The EPA recommends taking more effective and clean methods of travel. According to the study, the majority of those emissions occurred while either in traffic. The EPA solution, more bike lanes. <laughs> I knew that one was good. <laughs> Final page. With global warming taking center stage for the biggest threat to our planet, more and more youths are joining the conversation to help end climate change. This is, an aspi this is inspiring seeing so many young people take action as we haven't seen this many since schools took away Pizza Friday. <laughs> there are many notable youngsters such as Greta Thunberg, who has made a name for herself by calling out the hypocrisy and lack of action from people in power. To be taken seriously as a young person is an accomplishment. And in today's day and age, it's about as uncommon as having a name Greta. <laughs> You're the best, Sylvia. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for Sylvia one more time. Yeah. Strong closer here. <laughs> I got one more, guys. I got one more. You guys ready? I'm gonna need you guys to give it up for Sylvia, super iron company. I'm trying to be Sylvia, I love you Sylvia. One more, one more. Wildfires have gotten so bad in California that the California Office of Emergency Services announced the creation of Team Blaze, the first ever wildfire strike team operated by state military. Although the help is greatly appreciated, there is one concern. Can they stop the fires from spreading to the other military branches? All right, guys, I hope you learned a lot today. Most importantly, 